Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. Yay! For quite some time a subscriber called Legend Headline or Legend Headline has been asking for a cinema for Minecraft Bedrock edition. So here it is. Now the first thing you'll notice is that this build is very simple but really a normal cinema is extremely simple. They are meant to not distract you at all from the film that you're watching. So let's go and find our seat. You see we'll have lights in the flooring which looks very nice with the man in the booth. Oh, he's very shy. <laughs> and now let's watch our film. Wow, wasn't that the best film you've ever watched? <laughs> no. <laughs> now you can tell when the film starts, all the lights turn off, which is really good, so it focuses on the screen, and then when the film finishes, after a slight pause, then the lights turn on. Now I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. So what I'm going to do is do a block for block tutorial on the screen itself, and then I'll show you the basic principle of how to do the rest of the cinema. Now taking a look at the cinema from the outside, as you can see, it is an absolute mess. <laughs> Redstone just going everywhere, but don't worry, don't fret. It's really simple. Most of the redstone is just going from point A to point B. Uh, it doesn't need to be pretty because not many people are going to see it in your own world. Now you may be wondering what this big block is here. Basically, this holds our screen. Now the reason we have to have it pitch black in here is because when the screen moves round, when this block moves, for example, when it transitions from being here to here, for a fraction of a second, the block turns invisible and it's such a very small period of time. But if you have a dark room like we have in the cinema, light is going to bleed through and you're going to get this weird flashing effect. So if you just build a blocker all around it like this and not let any light through, that flashing effect will be gone. Taking a quick look at the screen, as you can see, the redstone is extremely simple, really easy to make, as you can see, and it's a very cheap build to make too. So what we have to do is flick the lever down here. As you see, the blocks turn around all the way around then when you're done just flip the lever off and it will stop perfect so let's go on with this tutorial so for this great build you're going to need 18 pistons 7 sticky pistons 1 observer 5 repeaters 4 redstone torches 34 redstone dust 2 hoppers 1 comparator 1 lever 1 rubbish block so basically a block to go in your hopper circuit 55 blocks of redstone to go on 144 blocks for your piston feed tape and then however many blocks you need for decoration ok to start this build have a 13 by 8 rectangle like this so that's 13 long and 8 high so once you've got that in place what I want you to do is come over to this right side here and go toward the back and firstly place a block here. Then grab a piston and place it here and then have five more on top, so six total. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then place a block here, one more out, one facing toward the front. Move these two blocks and again, five more on top, so six in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six. After that, what I want you to do is come down to the bottom here, place a block out like this, and two more. Have a sticky piston facing inward here. So what that will do is it will grab the blocks which this one is placing along. So it would grab a block here and then move it back to here. We can move these blocks and again have six of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then place a block here, grab a regular piston and again, have them facing inward this way toward the right and have six one two three four five and six next thing you want to do is come over to the left hand side here place a block here and come out four so this is one two three four and then four off this block here one two three four sorry off this piston here not block <laughs> then dust on both of these like this then place a temporary block here one out move that one and three one two three have a repeater going toward this redstone dust on two ticks and one here on two ticks and some dust here. Then place a block here, one down, move this block and have a line of blocks going toward the left until we reach this point here. Then we want to place a block here and one here. Going toward this block we want a repeater here on two ticks. 
Then we want to grab some dust and place it on these two blocks and on these three. One, two, three, but not on the middle block. Then do the same on this side. So come out one, two, three, four. One here and one here. Repeat it on two ticks going toward that block. Dust here, dust here. Dust, dust, dust. Sorry if you can hear that plane or helicopter wherever it is. <laughs> That's really loud. <laughs> then place a block here. One down. Can you actually hear that? I wonder. <laughs> Crumbs, that's loud. Then a torch here, and one here. Okay, so if you want to test it, all we have to do is place down a lever, click it, make sure all these pistons are extended, which they are, and all of these ones, which are. And then we're going to remove that lever. So the next thing you want to do is place a torch here, then place a temporary block here, one down, remove that block, one to the front, and then a line of blocks like that until we reach this column here. And then on all of these blocks, we want redstone dust, like so. Then place a temporary block here, one up, move that block, and have a torch on top which should turn off. Like that. Block here, one up, one up here with dust on all three, one, two, three. A slab here, one here, and move that one. Block here, and then dust on both. And then we can do similar on the other side. So we can place a temporary block here, one out, move that block, and have a line of blocks until the end of the column. Like that. One up, and torch. Then place dust like this. Forgot to do that earlier. <laughs> then place a block here. One up here and one up. Dust on all three. Then place a slab here. One out. Move that block and place a block and dust on both. Okay, so now we can give it a quick test. So if we flick our lever, all these pistons should extend and these pistons should extend. Perfect. Okay, now just to finish off this build, what I want you to do is firstly place an observer facing upward on the side of this block here. Then come out two blocks, one, two, move this block and have a sticky piston like this. Then place a block up here, one to the right and remove that. On this block going toward this one, we want a comparator, then a block here. Then we want a hopper here, place crouch and place a hopper going toward that hopper. Move that one and place another one going this way. So it should be connecting like this. So if we were to put an item in here, you can see it's going back and forth. Okay, and we want to leave that item in there. Then place a block here. Have a repeater going toward this hopper on the right. Block here and a lever and flick it on. Then place dust here. Now the very last thing you want to do is place in our blocks for our cinema screen. Now I'm just going to be using glass, but you can use whatever blocks you want. I'm only going to be using glass because it's nice and easy to see. So what I want you to do is place them like this, all up here, and go all along this side. And when I say all along, I mean up to here. So leave this space here. Then blocks all along this side, all the way until here. And again, we want to leave this one clear. So we want to leave the top right clear, all these, and the bottom left all clear. Okay, then we can build up the blocks. Keep going. Don't watch me, it's the quickest way to do this. I think it's like this. All along. So not in this corner. <laughs> all along here. Okay, like that. Now, just before we just test it out, just make sure no blocks are here. Okay, and no blocks are here. Perfect, okay? To make sure you have all the blocks in place. Okay, now the moment of truth. Does it work? So just flick the lever. And as you see, we should have the blocks moving around. Fantastic. Then when we're done, just flick the lever off. And there we are. So at the moment, this screen is quite boring, but what if you wanted to use a jukebox to activate it? Well, you come down to where we have the lever and we want to place a block here, remove this lever and have a torch like this. Okay, then place a block here, one out, move that block and have a comparator. Block here with our jukebox on top. So at the moment, as you can see, the screen is off and the jukebox is not playing, but if we were to put a music disc in, as you can see, the screen moves round. And then when we're done, we just press the jukebox, grab the music disc, and the screen finishes. Just a quite little cool little feature. Okay, so we've done the screen, but how about the lights? Because in our cinema over there, the lights are on until the film starts, then they turn off, 
but when the film stops, then there's a slight pause before the lights go on, like a real cinema. So to do that, we first need to identify what our power source is. So it might be a lever, you might have a lever say on this block here, but at the moment our power is coming from this jukebox here, which is going through the comparator. So we want to take the, out, the uh, input from this block here. So I'm going to place a block down like this, with redstone dust, block here and a repeater going out like this. So when I place a music disc in our jukebox, you can see it turns on. When I take it off, it turns off. Now I need to place in a pulse extender. So place a block up like this. Blocks like this have a comparator going toward this block. Comparator this way and a piece of resin dust here and on these two. And then a torch here. Now the torch is there because it's inverting the pulse. So at the moment, as you can see, it is on. As soon as I place our input in, you can see it turns off. But when I turn it off, you can see there's a slight delay before it turns on again like that, and that is what we use for the lights. So if I were to place blocks like this, uh, let's just maybe make a little surround for our light to go in, like that, light that. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, <laughs> the rest turn like that. So you can see our light turns on, okay. So if I were to put, can't see it. If I were to put a record in now, you can see it turns off straight away, but when our film finishes, when I take this out, you can see there will be a slight delay, as you can see. And that is exactly how I did it in my cinema over there. And that is all the basic redstone completely done. It really is that simple. Now all you have to do is build the cinema yourself, add the lights, and that is literally it. So run the redstone lights I showed you earlier from point A to point B, and you're completely done. Now, I can understand if that sounds like too much hard work, and if it is, there is a world download in the description below for this cinema. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, of course, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I'll see you later. Bye!